Hello viewers, welcome to Ajade Math Class. Today, I am giving you a special episode on how to score above 300 in year 2023 jam. And I'm going to give you five good techniques in which if you follow these techniques, you are going to excel in your examination. Before we proceed, please kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel for more episodes to come. Now, my first point today is going to be on vision. As a candidate, you have to have the vision of scoring more than 300 in this examination and um, you have to believe in your vision you've set for yourself. But for you to be able to achieve this vision, one of the things I would like to mention of is that you have to move with a group of friends that have the same vision like you do. You know, when you have friends that have the same mindset of getting good grades in, in this jam, this is going to serve as form of motivation for you in excelling in the examination. But if in other way around, you have friends who doesn't care, just want to have above 300, this is going to be a form of distraction for you and make you lose hope in the vision you set for yourself. So secondly, also, since you know that there is no ETME this year, try as much as possible to score as much max, maximum marks as possible. This is going to boost your chance to study any course of your choice in the university. And on this first point is that you have to believe in your vision. Secondly, is the planning stage. After you set vision for yourself, you believe in your vision and you move with friends that can influence the achievement of this vision, you have to plan for yourself. And one of the ways of planning is designing a timetable for yourself. You need to design a timetable for yourself. This can be like, um, take for instance, you want to design like five hours daily, six hours, eight hours, based on your daily schedule. And one thing I would like to tell you on this timetable is that you have to be consistent. You have to stick to this timetable. Never give room for distraction. Never give room for procrastination, such that these two um, factors, procrastination, distractions, these are the things that affect your study pattern. Be consistent with your what? With your timetable and your reading habit. Secondly, you have to work with the jam syllabus. Do not read outside the scope of the jam syllabus. This jam syllabus can be um, gotten in PDF format and um, also in this video, I on the description box, I'm going to give um, a link where you can download the PDF of the jam syllabus. Try as much as possible to read with the jam syllabus. Once you read with the jam syllabus, this is going to serve as a guide for you on how jam set your questions and the um, um, potential questions you are going to see on your examination day. But if, when you read outside the jam syllabus, it's going to give you a form of stress and make you read outside the scope, whereby um, causing a form of um, um, discouragement to you. And um, thirdly, you have to read with the required jam textbooks. For every year, JAM have some specified textbooks, not only for the use of English, for other subjects as well. Once you open the syllabus, you are going to see the required textbook by JAM. So try to get this textbook, be it in PDF form or in the, the art copy. Study this textbook religiously. Study this textbook religiously. And the um, last part of this under the um, planning stage is download CBT application. You can download these on Play Store. This, what I mean by Jam CBT application is not directly officially from Jam, but there are some other ones you can download. Some will ask you to make subscription like 1,000 or 2,000 or so. You can download that. But try as much as possible to get many CBT simulator questions. This is going to train you on use of time because Jam only want to test how smart you are not only how brilliant you are. Yeah, they want to test how smart you are too, how fast you are in attempting questions. So once you practice with this jam CBT, this is going to improve you and this is going to um, make you stick to the time in which jam is also going to use and is another form of mock. So if you need to pay for this, try to pay for it. It's not just going to be much, maybe 1,000 or 2,000. Get search for Play Store, just press jam CBT you are going to see a lot of them. And also there are some online, there are some websites too that you can attempt 
some of these are more questions. Practice, practice, practice is the key. The third part is the preparation stage. Preparation, under the preparation stage, I'm going to talk about the reading here. And for you reading, you have to follow your timetable religiously. Follow your timetable religiously. That is, stick to the timetable on a daily basis. Never read lesser than the time allotted on a, on a particular day. Even if um, unforeseen circumstances occur, ensure to cover up for the missed hours. Ensure to cover up for the what? For the missed hours. And um, never give him for procrastination. I'm saying this again. You know, you might be confident that, wow, I've covered some topics. Oh, I'm co I've covered a lot of things. Never believe in that. So try as much as possible to study practice questions. Yeah, I'm going to be uh, trade these practice questions. Okay. And the last part of it is still on practice. Yeah, it's on practice. Practice as many questions as possible. What I would like to add to this is that before you start practicing, ensure that you've covered the topic you're expected to cover before you start practicing. Because once you start practicing questions before reading for the particular topic, it's going to discourage you. Take for instance, you attempt a particular um, CBT mock and you are getting like um, 2 over 20. You know, this is a form of discouragement. And you know you are aiming for over 300 in jam. And for any student aiming for over 300 in jam, the, the minimum you should be getting in any mock, take for instance, over 50, should just be more than 45. Minimum should be 45 for now. And when the when your exam is fast approaching, you must be getting 50-50. Yes, you must be getting 50-50. So before you practice, make sure you've read that particular topic. Take for instance, um, you want to practice questions on salt. Make sure you've gone through it from the beginning to the end. You understand the rudiment, the application of it before you start practicing question. And lastly, as Africans, we don't play with the last part, which is what prayers. After you've practiced, you've prepared, you've planned, you've had your visions, and you are working towards your vision, you don't play with prayers too. Not that prayer will write the exam for you, but this, after you've put in your maximum best, just pray to God to crown your efforts. I wish you well in your exam. You can Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. In the forthcoming weeks, I'm going to invite one of my students who had over 320 in jam. Now is in the university, so I'm going to invite him for an interview, and we are going to hear from him how he prepared for his exam and how he was able to achieve that success. I wish you well in your examination. Don't forget to subscribe.